Okay. The masked professor rides again. Return with us now to those days of yesteryear. This is IE484, Computer Aided Manufacturing. Um, I, of course, am your genial host, Harry S. Whiting II. Uh, my email at hwhiting at navajotech.edu. Uh, my office is Tech 323, the room right behind you. I feel so stupid saying this when everybody here knows all this information. Uh, take a look that the new office phone number is on the um, uh, on your syllabus. Um, they're slowly switching from the old to the new. I have no idea how long that's going to take. I would have thought it would be done already. Um, and our class time is 2 to 3.20, Monday and Wednesday. Our book <coughs> is Automation, Production Systems, and Computer Integrated Manufacturing. Oh, maybe I should go like this. Uh, fourth edition by Groover. Uh, the ISBN is on there. I don't think it's going to help anyone if I read that. <clears throat> um, the tools you'll need in this class, uh, probably not a laptop so much as a flash drive would be very useful. Course description. This course will introduce the use of computers as a tool to aid in manufacturing, distribution, and service environments with computer numerically controlled machines, automated storage systems, and robotics. Uh, as prerequisites, you should have ENGR 123 and uh, oh, ENGR uh, 169. That was, this was written back in the day. We thought they were going to let us just name it IE 169, but no, the horror. Course objectives. Students will understand the use of computers and computerized technology to support manufacturing operations. Uh, students will understand the use of computers and computerized technology to support storage, shipping, and receiving of goods. Students will understand the use of computers and computerized technology to support machining operations. Students will understand the use of computers and computerized technology to support robotics. And last but not least, uh, students will understand the use of computers and computerized technology to support inventory control and production planning. Course outcomes uh, applies engineering scientific and mathematical principles to achieve analytic or numerical sol solution to model equations. Um, identifies requirements on the design problem, evaluates and analyzes to carry the solution through to the most economic slash desirable solution and justifies the approach able to find information relevant to problem solution without guidance. 
the uh, assessment of these will be in problems presented in homework, quizzes, tests, and uh, the, uh, the project. Um, the grading plan. Homework will count for 20%, attendance and participation for 10%, weekly quizzes for 20%, midterm for 20%, final for 20%, project 10%, and the total of obviously is 100%. A, as usual, a class portfolio can be turned in at the end of the semester for extra credit. Grading notes. Homework will be assigned weekly and graded on a scale of 1 to 10. The top 10 scoring homework assignments as turned in by the student will be used in calculating the final grade. Uh, homework is due one week after assignment for full credit, may still be turned in the next week for 75% credit and no credit thereafter. Homework will always be computer printouts except if a handout is given as an assignment. Weekly quizzes will be given at the beginning of the second class of the week and graded on a scale of 1 to 10. The top 10 quiz grades will be used in calculating final grades. Students who miss quizzes or tests will not be allowed to make up unless a legitimate written excuse is provided. Midterm and final grades will be curved according to raising the highest objective grade in class to a 100 with all other student grades raised by the same amount of points only if there are six or more students in the class. Attendance and participation will be graded based on the student's arrival on time and further predicated on a student's questions, two per class period. Students with three unexcused absences are subject to being dropped. Projects must be completed to pass the class. Those not finishing and presenting class projects will be given an incomplete or an F depending on grade point. Okay, now, the bad news is, unless you could get four of your friends to sign up for class, we will not have the six students required for curving. Uh, since Terrell has also signed up, but he's going to wimp out and be in Fort Defiance or some other uh, location. Uh, course policies. Please turn off cell phones during lectures. Please be courteous to others around you and treat each other with professionalism. Feel free to work together to help others with their questions on homework. Quizzes, midterms, and finals should be done without help or input from others. We will be using the online environment and online tools to conduct the course. Participation. Students are expected to attend and participate in all class activities. As listed above, it is 5% of the grade. Points will be given to students who actively participate in class activities um, including field trips, laboratories, and ask questions of guest speakers, speakers, not peakers, uh, and other presenters. Uh, cell phone use and headphone use. Please turn cell phones off and place or place them on silent or vibrate mode before coming to class. Also, answer cell phones outside of class and not in the classroom. Um, 
exercising cell phone use courtesy is appreciated by both the instructor and classmates. Headphones or earbuds are to be removed before coming to class. <laughs> Attendance policy. Students are expected to regularly attend all classes for which they are registered. A percentage of the student's grade will be based on class attendance and participation. Absence from class, regardless of the reason, does not relieve the student of his or her responsibility to complete all coursework by the required deadlines. Furthermore, it is the student's responsibility to obtain notes, handouts, and any other information covered when absent from class and to arrange to make up any in-class assignments or tests if permitted by the instructor. Incomplete or missing assignments will necessarily affect the student's grades. Instructors will report excessive and or unexplained absences to the counseling department. Do we even have a counseling department anymore? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, 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 there we go. Uh, to the counseling department for investigation and potential intervention. Instructors may drop students from the class after three absences unless prior arrangements are made with the instructor to make up work and the instructor deems the excuse acceptable. Huh. Uh, study time outside of class for face-to-face -face courses. For every credit hour spent in a class, a student is expected to spend two hours outside of class studying the course material. Now, I do need to say, I don't think that is a super rigid rule. I have had classes where I have spent five or six hours for every hour in class, outside of class. And I have had classes where I have barely spent any time outside of class. Uh, uh, so, you need to judge based on each particular class. <laughs> okay. Academic integrity. Integrity, honesty, is expected of every student in all academic work and every scientist or engineer working professionally. The guiding principle of academic integrity is that a student's submitted work must be the student's own. Students who engage in academic dishonesty <coughs> diminish their education and bring discredit to the college community. Avoid situations likely to compromise academic integrity, such as cheating, facilitating academic dishonesty and plagiarism, or modifying academic work to obtain additional credit in the same class unless approved in advance by the instructor. Failure to observe rules of academic integrity established by the instructor may result in the student being dropped from class. Well, that didn't work out as well as I All right. All right, coming into the home stretch. The Diné philosophy of education. The Diné philosophy of education, or DPE, is incorporated into every class for students to become aware of and to understand the significance of the four Diné philosophical elements, including its affiliation with the four directions, four sacred mountains, <coughs> the four set of uh, thought processes, and so forth. Nisahaki's Nahata 
Ina and Sinhasan, which are essential and relevant to self-identity, respect, and wisdom to achieve career goals successfully. Um, students with disabilities. The Navajo Technical University and the Engineering, Math, and Technology Department are committed to serving all enrolled students in a non-discriminatory and accommodating manner. Any student who feels that he or she may need an accommodation based on the impact of disability or needs special accommodations should inform NTU in accordance with the procedures of the subsection entitled Students with Disabilities under Section 7, Student Support Programs, um, uh, NTU Student Handbook. If you are in need of accommodation, please contact Virginia Edgewater at vedgewater at navajotech.edu or 505-786-4138 on the old phone system or 505-387-7396 on the new phone system. <clears throat> Are there any questions on this uh, syllabus? Yes, uh, you can, if you would prefer never to see me again, and so many students have chosen this option, uh, uh, attend as a Zoom meeting. However, it's easier for me if I do have somebody here and I can pace the class better that way. Uh, but if for some reason you had to be, um, uh, let's say, um, uh, at a conference or a training, you could attend uh, using the Zoom link. Or if you just never want to see me. I would be kind of hurt, but... Um, I might have to see if I can do the Zoom meeting this week because I got training tomorrow with and showing the Aramis system starting tomorrow through Friday. Okay. I can watch that, but pay attention at the same time. Well, um, what I am going to try to do is be able to provide the recording. Okay, like the, the last semester? The recording and then... Uh, right, so that you can, um, uh, uh, so that you can shift time. As I said, that can be a bit of a problem for me because I have a tendency to go much faster uh, when it's just me. Okay. It's not, uh, I mean, I can still come to class, but I'll probably just let it play. Okay, well, uh, I hate to interfere with process. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, any other questions? Even with you being late, this may be the shortest class I've ever had. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, that's all I had planned to do today. Um, uh, so um, I would say uh, work on getting your book. You, uh, we can probably uh, figure it out if you don't have your book right away. Uh, uh, but it's going to get to be a pain in the butt. Uh, before too long if you don't have one. Okay, I'll get in column today.
I want to say they should have it. The problem is they're horribly disorganized over there. Uh, and uh, they, even if they have it, they may not realize they have it or know where to find it. Uh, I know, I'm discouraged by that too. Uh, okay, well, uh, I would say then, let us uh, uh, go ahead and call it a class. And I have your book in the office.